Hey guys, Matt from Total MTG here, and today I am showcasing a very fun standard deck uh, that I really love playing at the moment. It is Mono Black Zombies. So we are going to cover the cover the battlefield with zombie gore creatures. Hopefully, get them all anthemed up with the Arisen Executioner and storm the board early. So let's have a look at the creatures we got. Our one drop creature is a Shambling Goblin. Uh, when it dies, target creature and opponent controls gets minus one, one. So, obviously, we can kill it ourselves to kill maybe a creature. We can flashback Marauder, make them sacrifice a creature, kill our own vent, possibly kill two creatures in one, you know, one little move we could do that. Um, but, yeah, Shaman Goblin it was a nice little one drop, and I wanted to get, you know, uh, the one drop into twos, into threes, and stuff like that. So, this is for, for the old, um, you know getting our deck on curve so the two drop we have for the creatures is a zombie rat it's rancid rat he has skulks so can't be blocked by creatures with greater power and you know quite a few of them will have greater power than one but it also has an important death touch which you know can stop the biggest of creatures death touch is you know great and then we've got it in the rancid rat so we go to probably our most expensive creature in the deck for um, you guys to buy. i think it costs two tickets now so not too bad in card form it's a bit dearer maybe six seven dollars but we run a four of relentless dead it has menace when it dies you pay one if you do return it to your owner's hand uh or when Re Re relentless dead dies you may pay x if you do return another target zombie creature recovers x from your graveyard to the battlefield so that's another thing we could bring back the marauder as well make him sacrifice another creature which would be good so we're going to our three drops. Absolutely love this, and it's brilliant in this deck. Excuse my phone going off there. It is on silent, but still seems to want to beep off. Uh, Diagraph Colossus. Enters the battlefield with a 1-1 counter for each zombie card in your graveyard. So for three, it could come in as a, it could come in just as a 2-2. Two -two. It's still good to play as a 2-2, two -two because whenever you cast a zombie spell, you put a 2-2 two -two black zombie into play, tapped. But, you know, if you get rid of your shambling goblins early, and obviously your marauders... This could come in for three as a 3-3, three, 4-4. Three, four, four. And, you know, basically, it can just be anything you want. As long as, you know, if you've got the stuff in there, it could be as big as you need. Uh, when Flashback Marauder comes in, obviously, like we said this, it sacrifice, each player sacrifices a creature, which obviously that includes us as well. Um, on to the four-drop creature. A uh, bit of a star of the deck. Risen Executioner, Zombie Warrior. It can't block, but it can give all your other zombies a plus one one. And the important thing is that it's not legendary. So you can get two of these on, give them all plus one one, so he gets another plus one one. You know, makes the relentless dead four four with menace, which is great. And you can cast this from your graveyard if you pay one more to cast for each creature in your graveyard. So there's always a chance that you can get this one back, guys. Um, the last creature in the deck is to two of Sedisi Undead Vizier. Uh, this is a legendary, so I've only got two of these. It is another death touch, which is brilliant. But it also lets us search our lower. We can exploit a creature. Maybe we're going to exploit, you know, the uh, one drop that gives minus one one. We can do that. And it lets us go and search for a card and put it into our hand. Um, this is, you know, if we want to go and get ourselves another Risen Executioner, cause, or, or even a Diagraph, whatever, you know, suits it at the time, we can go and get with Sidisi. You know, which is, it's expensive. It's not that expensive. It does cost five. You're getting a four, six with Death Touch for five. And you can search your library, potentially. So, you know, that is a, it's a, it's a well-costed good creature, I think, for this type of deck. Uh, we're going to go on to, like, the spells now. We've got a four of Dead Weight. Early removal, minus two, two, one drop. Enchantment. we got four Grasp of Darkness, minus four, four for two black. And uh, what else we got here? We've got Read the Bones as well. So this will help us dig for what we want. Scry two, then draw two cards. You lose two life, but you know, read the bones is very, very good. Um, what else have we got? So we're going to go into the land now. The land is all swamps. So it's all swamps apart from two, which is two blighted fens. Um, you can pay five, sacrifice blighted fen, target opponent sacrifices a creature. So this card goes very well with our deck, you know, in conjunction with Marauders, we're making them sacrifice, we've got kill spells, and then hopefully leaving up all, uh, you know, our lovely creatures, and just attacking him for the win. Um, yeah, so you know, you can see the pattern of the deck, guys, you know, it, it's, a, it's a tribal deck, it goes on curve, you know, if you can go one into two into three into four, that's obviously the perfect way, but it never suddenly happens that way, as you know by magic. 
especially with their great shuffling on MTGO. I'm sure you all find the same problems as me. <laughs> but anyway, let's go to the cyborg guys. So we got four of Duress, um, bringing them, you know, just in, we're dealing with a lot of planeswalkers maybe. Duress will obviously help us out. Um, also have Ruinous Path for that, destroy target creature or planeswalkers. Um, there's lots of Nahiris around, there's lots of Jaces, there's lots of every every planeswalker in this, in, you know, in this format at the moment. So that helps us. Uh, most expensive card in the deck, because, you know, basically this is a very cheap deck. I'm not sure how much it is. I, I will put it on the, the front of the thumbnail and in the description. Um, but it's probably, th you know, less than 30 tickets, probably. Uh, Languish is the most expensive. It is about five tickets at the moment, so we've got one of them in the sideboard. <clears throat> also got an infinite obliteration. Um, go and get those Ulamogs, stuff like that. Uh, to the slaughter, a couple of them. Target player sacrifice a creature or planeswalker, so a bit more sacrifice for us. As delirium as well. <clears throat> we have ultimate price, a couple of them. Destroy target monocolor creature, and just a couple of self inflicted wound. Uh, just a couple of them in there. Sacrifice it, you know. Green or white creatures helps us against Linvalas and um, what's the other one? Avacins, maybe possibly stuff like that. But that is the deck, guys. So, what I will do, as I usually do, I'll have three matches with this deck. You know, maybe we can go 3-0 with this one. That would be very nice. Um, I really do enjoy playing this deck. And like I said, it is you know, a bit of budget standard. Um, hopefully it goes to show, you know, hopefully I don't lose all three matches, which will be a rare thing with this deck from, from previous playing anyway. But you, you never know. I'll still show you the matches anyway. Um, but, yeah, hopefully you like this deck. Like I said, very cheap to play. Very fun and magic, you know, it's not all about just having, you know, the best decks, the best and it's also about having fun and this deck is seriously about having fun. Anyway guys, hope you like this. Please tune in for the matches. We'll put three matches up very soon and I'll put them all up on one go as well because that seemed to work last time very well. Um, so yeah, look out for those matches and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers guys.